Welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. Now we're going to insert the shape, rectangle shape, and then change the width and the height to 1 inch. And then the 3D rotation, change that. Because we're going to make a 3D pyramid. And then format the shape. Change the width and the height to 36. And then width is 36 and the height is 100. And then change the 3D. And now, press in your keyboard, Ctrl D to duplicate, and then change the another level, the height and the width to 2 inches. And then, copy that again, change the height and the width to 3 inches, and the fourth level to 4 inches. And don't forget to bring to front the third, the second, and the first level. So that is easy. We have now the 3D pyramid. But now we are we want to have uh, we want to add an, uh, an animation. So, if you are going to put an image or text in that pyramid, so let us start. Click the first level and then add an animation. And choose object color. Start should be on click and change the duration to 0.5. And then add another animation and then choose the line color. Don't forget to choose your preferred color for that level. And also the line animation should be with the same color. And then the line animation should be start is on previews. And then duration is 0.5. And do that to the third and second and first level. Fourth level, I mean. Object color is the animation. Start should be on click. Duration is 0.5. And then add another animation. That is the line color. You are going to see that in the emphasis section. And then the same color of the object color and now when we're done we're going to try it okay now we're not yet finished we're going to add the text so let's add the pentagon shape Insert that pentagon shape.
and then um, change the shape outline the same with the first level the color of the first level and the shape fill is gradient if you want a gradient color and now let us format the shape by clicking uh, right click and then format shape and then let's add the shadow the distance is 10 and blur it to 10 also so we have a shadow effect of the text box and don't forget to send to back So now let's add the text by inserting the text box or if you want just direct directly uh, add the text in that shape but this time I'm going to, ch to choose the text box the title and your text Okay, now we're done. We're going to group that. Okay, before that, you have to rename each level to rectangle 1, rectangle 2, 3, and 4. So that it will, it will be easier for us to determine the animation uh, when we add the animation. Now group your text and the pentagon shape and then rename it to group 1. By grouping that, you have to press Ctrl G in your keyboard for a shortcut. And don't forget to send to back. Now we're going to add an animation in that pentagon shape. Click animation, then add animation and choose wipe and then to left the effect option. And then it should be with previews. The start is with previews and duration is if you want one. And don't forget to drag that animation just below the rectangle one. So here it goes. Now we're going to duplicate that to three more levels by pressing in your keyboard Control D. Change the color of the pentagon box, the same in your rectangle, in your pyramid.
and then rename it to group 2. After re renaming that, go to animation pane and then drag the group 2 just below the rectangle 2. As you can see the green one, that is the animation and then drag it. Now duplicate it again. Change the color. And rename that group to group 3. And drag below the rectangle 3 in your animation pane. And don't forget to send backward. And do the same in the fourth level. Rename to group four and then you can see that in the animation pane, group four is below the rectangle four. Adjust a little bit. Let's try this. Okay, just click your mouse. You can use this pyramid in your science project, science subject, or in your presentation. You have a food pyramid, ecosystem pyramid. You can use that template. Now let's add a shadow just below the pyramid, add a circle shape. Change it to black. And the gradient fill. Change the type to path and adjust the transparency and the brightness. So you'll have a shadow effect of that pyramid. Okay. 
and bring that to below that pyramid and don't forget to click send backward Adjust the brightness and the brightness and the transparency. And you can have this template for free. Just message me. You can use this in your science subject if you are going to present the ecological or the food pyramid or others. So I hope you learned something new in my channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And watch out for more tutorials.